Rishus, Kul Hakahal Hakadosh Azer. I'm Rabbi Mike Moskowitz. My pronouns are he, him. I'm the scholar in residence for trans and queer Jewish studies at Congregation Basin Chastera, the world's largest LGBT synagogue. We just celebrated Shavuos. The revelation at Mount Sinai is God's coming out speech. Where God told us about God's self because the need to be seen and understood for who we are isn't just part of the human experience, but it comes from the holiest part of each one of us, the divine spirit of our unique souls. Just 40 days later, at the sin of the golden calf, we contributed to the erasure of God's identity as the infinite source of the universe through idol worship. Homophobia, and the hypocrisy of hate are today's rallying calls of false piety. We have made this world an unsafe place for God to be out. And tragically, we have forced God back into the closet. The way that we treat each other is a reflection of our understanding of God's expectations of us. The only way to have a relationship with God as our parent is if we take care of each other as siblings. We see you. We love you. God doesn't put extra people in this world. We need you. It does get better, and you are making it better. The Jerusalem Talmud says in the name of Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, when is Jerusalem fitting to be called Yerushalayim Habenuya ki ir shafubra la yachtav? Only when it's a city where everyone acts as chaverim. In America, the word we use for ally is chaver because it's a language of attachment, mukhubar, where we are so connected to another that there is no other. In Pirkei Avais, we are taught to be nice of oilim chaveroi. This doesn't mean to help shoulder some of the burdens so folks are less oppressed. It means to take on the responsibility to create a world where there is no oppression at all. Judaism is a religion of action. It is not enough to simply love peace. We must also pursue it. No one's life is ever hypothetical. No one should ever have to choose between a queer identity and a religious one. Shabbos is a choice. Acknowledging who you are and living as the most authentic and genuine version of yourself shouldn't be. To trans and gender queer youth, you are a blessing to the world. Hashem loves you. You are holy. We are here, all of us, to celebrate you. Thank you for being.